Andy. Um, let me know if you like it with me farther back because I realized in all my videos I'm like really close like hey I'm Katrina how's it going so if you prefer it farther away I understand I haven't seen Andy's last video obviously Andy if you're watching you have seen it because you edited it anyone else it was about adjusting your goals and how that's okay well <laughs> that is definitely something I've had to deal with anytime I make any sort of goal or resolution because you find out things just aren't plausible and it's just it's a difficult thing to be, come to terms with because you're like oh I said I was going to do this I'm like not doing it I'm a failure boo yeah like the lifespan of a human is expanding every decade in like because of science and shit so your goal if you don't finish it in here that's fine you've probably got 70 more to finish your goal so don't worry about it and like yes you might have been like oh but I had this time like fuck your timeline it's over you didn't do it that's fine it's human you're a human <laughs> like we have things to do like Sometimes you just don't feel like doing something and it's better to do something when you're in the mood to do it than sit there and be like, oh, I don't feel like writing this. If you don't feel like writing this, you're going to have to edit it later because it sucks because you didn't want to write it or paint the picture or work out or like read a book. Do you know how many times I've been like, I have to read something because TV is killing me and I read a book and I couldn't tell you what happened. So I had to go back and like reread three chapters. That's just wasted time. Like, don't waste your time. Just get it done. When doesn't matter. Just get it done. I wanted to uh, talk about what Andy was alluding to. So I, uh, I weighed myself and my scale is mean because it has those like point, the decimals. So it's like, this weighs 86.8 pounds. You can't do that to a human. It's rude. <laughs> so I was like, I was literally like 0.5 pounds away from losing 10 pounds. And I was like, yeah, like I'm so close. And then I weighed myself again because I was like, okay, it worked out. Like I can do this. And it was literally 204.0. Nine point nine pounds, and I was just sitting there like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" <laughs> so I'm just gonna say I lost ten pounds. It is a small dent in the seventy pounds I wanted to lose, but little things have already changed, like. I like my mom has these towels and they're not like really big so there was like a gap when I would like walk from the bathroom to my room in a towel and I had to be like quick about it now there's no gap like little things like that like the towel fits around me and you don't think that's like a big deal but it's a fucking big deal because nobody wants to flash their badge when walking by the living room not a sentence I thought I'd ever say on camera. Hey, Thursday um, at 3, I am leaving for Orlando, going to the land of Mickey Mouse and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, I will take video while I'm there, not with my nice camera because I'm trying to pack light. Um, I also wanted to give you guys some packing tips because I have been on a lot of trips and <laughs> I have traveled by myself a lot. So. Let me show you a couple things that are like my must, must haves. So first of all, the travel section of Target is amazing. They have great stuff in there. They have this, they have like TSA approved empty bottles. And um, I stupidly didn't notice this until I'd already purchased two of these for my shampoo and conditioner. But they have like a whole kit where it's all see-through bottles and it comes in a resealable bag. So it's TSA ready and it's only like four bucks. So um, I wish I had bought that, but these are great. Um, I'm gonna put my shampoo and conditioner in these because my hair is insane and I need my own shampoo and my own conditioner 
because I'm a prissy baby and hotel shampoo sucks. So my advice, these are 97 cents. Buy them, use your own shampoo, your hair will thank you and you won't regret those vacation photos later. Next thing, if you're the kind of person that's like, oh, I like nice products and like, I don't like buying shitty ones. Well, places like Ulta and Sephora sell miniatures. This is dry shampoo. I'm gonna need this on our trip. And it is mini. It's a little bit more expensive than some other stuff. It's It was $4 for this tiny thing. But after I use it um, on my trip, I can use this anywhere. I can bring this with me in my purse if I wanted to. So I could be like, like, these are useful. Miniatures are useful. It's okay to buy them, even though they're more expensive. And actually, if you use a coupon with these, sometimes you can get the whole thing for free. That is one thing that extreme couponers have shown me, that manufacturers' coupons, a lot of them do count for miniatures. So you could get this for free if you find the right coupon. Big thing when you're traveling to a sunny place, sunscreen. Now, there are two ways you could do this. I bought this tiny spray one. I bought two. They're fairly inexpensive. It was $4 for two of these. But you could also, if you prefer the lather on sunscreen, buy one of these and fill it with sunscreen. You can stick it in your purse and reapply it when you're at a park or wherever you're going. For the love of God, wear sunscreen. It is 2015 don't get burnt on purpose because you're too lazy to buy sunscreen. This isn't just about fitness health, this is also about health on your body. Wear sunscreen, don't be stupid, and drink water. Face wipes, because, just cause. Ah, to weight loss. So that uh, 10 pounds I lost. That was over the past two months. Like I looked and I wrote down my weight and I literally lost five pounds in two weeks, which is more weight than I've lost almost this entire time we've been doing this. So whatever I've been doing has been working. So all I gotta say is just when you find your rhythm, do it. Just keep doing whatever you're doing. I'm at 10 pounds loss, Andy, you're at 10 pound plus, 10 pound plus, and when I come back from a trip, I have a feeling I won't have gained any weight because have you ever walked around a theme park? They're pretty big. <laughs> so, and it's going to be sweaty and humid in Florida, so anything I eat just gets sweat out, so I'll probably stay the same. So don't be worried about vacations if you take it, even if you have a mini vacation at your house. Just be like, you know what, today is my vacation day. And go, like, do things you wouldn't normally do at your house. Maybe, like, make a craft or whatever. And just have your own vacation. I'm in vacation mode. And l luckily and bad for me, my gym was closed this week. So instead of pretending like I wasn't in vacation mode and, like, going to the gym, I just didn't work out this week. And like fine with it because it's my vacation <sighs> all right I gotta go but I will see you next week I will have cool things to show you and see you next week Andy <laughs>